Good morning, third grade, and welcome back to a, another week of art and another week of remote learning. Today, we are going to be starting a new project, and we are going to be creating stacked teacups. It's almost going to look like they are tipping over. They're going to look a little wobbly. What you're going to need to get you started today is a piece of white paper. I am using a really large piece, but if you only have a smaller piece of paper, that's fine too. You can still do this project just on a smaller scale. You're going to also need a pencil, a Sharpie or some type of black marker, and an eraser. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna move my paper up and I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. And I am going to start which is kind of like a little curved line. This is going to be the top of my first teacup. And then I'm going to add the side to my teacup. So I'm going to add another curved line. And just take your time, go slow. Try to make them even. And then I'm going to connect across the bottom. And I'm even going to add just like a little foot on the bottom of the teacup so it can sit nicely. So if you can see that, I know there's a little bit of a glare from my window, but if you can see that, there's just a teeny tiny little lip down here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna do my next teacup and it's going to be sitting inside this first one. So I'm then going to add another curved line and it should be about the same width as your first one. And then curved line down, curved line down, okay? So it's going to sit inside that first teacup. Now, sometimes when students do this project, their teacups start getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and then it makes like a pyramid. That is not what we want to do, okay? We wanna make sure that your teacups stay about the same size. I'm gonna add another one. We go and I'm just going to keep moving up my paper. All right, and then I'm going to do one more. I think I think I can fit one more. If you can't fit more, then just stop where you are. I would rather have you stop than try to smoosh it in. Okay, so now all of my teacups tea are stacked inside of each other, but my teacups are missing one very important detail, the handle. So now I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to add a handle onto all of the teacups. And remember, if I'm going too quick, you can always pause the video, catch up, and then restart. Now your handles don't all have to look the same they don't even have to be on the same side. You can alternate the sides if you would like. So it's up to you how you want your project to look. That's the nice thing about being an artist. You get to make your own choices and everyone's project is going to look a little different. Okay, last one. There we go. All right, so now my teacups all have a handle, but there's also one more thing I am missing. Right now, it looks very flat. We want this to almost look three-dimensional. So we are going to add some curved lines so that it looks like the teacups are actually stacked inside of each other. So on the very top, I am just going to add a curved line to the top of the teacup, okay? So now it looks like you can actually go inside. And then I'm going to do the same thing on all of the other teacups. And then I stop once I reach that line. So I'm gonna keep going all the way down. There we go. All righty. Now, once you have this done, we want to add some movement lines so it looks like they're almost going to wobble or fall over. So I'm just going to add two or three little wobbly lines. So that's a good way to show movement. <clears throat> okay. Right now, it also looks like our teacups are floating. We need to add a horizon line so that it looks like your teacups 
are sitting on a table or a countertop. So I want to figure out where I want that line to be. Do I want it down here at the very bottom? Do I want it more towards the middle? We need to decide, okay? So I'm going to put mine maybe like right about here. And I'm just going to draw a straight line across. Pick up my pencil and then continue over, okay? So now I have the table that my teacups are sitting on. Once you have this done, you're going to add some patterns and designs to all of your teacups. It doesn't matter which one you start on, you just need to make sure that you add patterns and details to all of them. So I'm just going to maybe add some sunflowers or like some daisies to this one. And you don't have to copy mine, you can come up with your own. I would just maybe avoid words because then it's gonna look really smushed. So I probably wouldn't use words. Let's try to stick to patterns and designs. Okay, and then maybe this one, I'm just gonna have some polka dots. Not all of them have to have a crazy amount of detail. You can just have some simple ones too. Now this one, I'm making sure that the polka dots are all about the same size. Okay, and then maybe down here, maybe I'm going to add nice thick stripe across the middle. And then maybe I'm going to add like a really tall zigzag. So you're gonna have to remember some of those lines and patterns that we've used in the past. Okay, and then maybe I'm going to add some vertical lines going across the top. And same thing down here at the bottom. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna work up here because I gotta finish these ones. Maybe this one, I'm just gonna have like some spirals and maybe some little leaves coming off. Now this is not going to be just a one day project. This is probably going to be a three day project. So take your time, work at your own pace. Some people like to sit down and finish their project in one sitting and that's fine. If you wanna just work really, really hard and get it done in one sitting, that's fine. But if you wanna work on it for a little bit and then take a break and then come back to it and finish it later, that's fine too. Okay, I've got one more here. So I think I'm gonna add like a wiggly line. Now our videos are probably going to be a little longer just because this is a longer project and I'm showing you all of the demonstration at one time. So our videos are gonna be just a little bit longer this quarter. Okay, now that I have all of my teacups decorated, then you're going to get out a black marker or a Sharpie, and you are just going to trace over all of your designs. Now I know you're probably saying, oh, Mrs. Domboski, that is so much work. I know it's a lot of work, but hard work pays off. I promise you will be very happy with your project when you are all done. So trace over everything. Even the handles. There we go. 
Don't forget the movement lines. Now I'm not going to trace all of mine just because I want you to have time to work on your own. And I don't think you need to sit here and watch me trace the entire drawing over again. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop tracing, but you will finish all of them, including the horizon line. Don't forget that. Once you have everything traced, it looks just like a coloring book. Then you can get out your coloring supplies. You can get out your markers, your colored pencils, and your crayons. And what you're going to do is you are just going to start coloring in the handles and the hot cocoa mug so that they look really, really colorful and bright. They're gonna look really nice when we're all done. So I'm staying inside my lines, making sure I'm not pressing down too hard because there's a lot of coloring here. And if you press down really, really hard, well then your hand's gonna start to hurt and then you're gonna need to take a lot of breaks. Okay, if you want to use colored pencil, whoops, dropping my things here. If you wanna use colored pencil, that's fine too. We're just using what we have available to us. You don't need to run out to the store and buy all of these supplies. We're just using what we have at home. If you have all of these things at home, well, that's great. Go ahead and use them. Okay. And then maybe I'm gonna switch over to my marker and I'm gonna do like a pattern. So it's gonna go colored pencil, marker, colored pencil, marker. Now, one thing I do want you to do is I want your teacups to be really colorful. And I want you to take your time when you are coloring them in. Please do not take your marker or your crayon or colored pencil and then just take it and then color over all of it, okay? That is a lazy way to color. We wanna make sure that we are including a lot of different colors taking our time and filling in all of our white spots, okay? So once you have all of your teacups colored in, then you can start working on the table. We are going to make this table look like a wooden table. So I'm going to use a brown marker and these are going to be like the wood grain texture lines. So they almost look like little inchworms kind of crawling across your paper. These lines do not touch each other. It is not a scribble. It is very purposeful. We're not just taking our marker and going all over the place. Okay, once you have that done, then you can use a brown colored pencil or a brown crayon and you're just going to very lightly color right over top of those marker lines. Now, if you don't have brown marker, you can still do the texture lines. You can use a brown crayon and just press down really hard to do the texture lines, and then just press really lightly when you color over top, okay? All righty. Now, once you have that done, then we need to work on the background. To do the background, we are going to create some type of pattern. I think stripes would be a really good pattern for this project. You could do stripes that are vertical that go down this way, or you could do stripes that go straight across. So I am going to do stripes Mm, I think I'm going to do vertical stripes. So I'm going to start here at the top. And my stripes are going to be 
a little wobbly. And I'm just going to do this all the way down. Now, don't draw through your hot or your teacups. I'm just going to keep going. Now, right here, you don't see the line anymore. So I just have a really small line up there at the top. And I'm just going to keep going. One more. All righty. Once you have that done, then you are also going to trace those lines. Okay. Stay on top of the pencil line. If you go off of it, that's okay. But then you're going to need to take your eraser and erase that line because you don't want it to show through. Alrighty. Once you have this done and you've traced all of your lines, then you're going to pick two colors using crayon, just two, and you're going to do a pattern in your background. So I'm just going to start on this stripe. And I'm just pressing lightly, not hard at all. And I'm going to go all the way down to the table. And then I'm going to switch colors. And again, go all the way down to the table. Okay. Now I know I'm not finishing mine, but that's because this video would be really, really long if I sat here and colored everything in. And you guys would probably not like me very much. So I am going to stop right here once I finish up this little square. Don't forget that that's still your background, okay? Because you can see through the handle. Alrighty. Once your whole paper is full, then go ahead and take a final picture of it. It's got to be totally done to turn it in, okay? I will grade it, and then I will send it back to you with a comment so you know that I received it and that it is graded. If you have any questions at all and you are an in-school learner, just stop by my classroom. If you are a remote learner and you do not see me here at school, then you can email me or send me a classroom dojo message and I will do the best I can to help you out. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. This is a three-week project, okay? Three weeks, so you've got plenty of time. Don't rush through and finish it in 20 minutes because I'm not going to be very happy and then I'm going to send it back to you, okay? So I will talk to you guys soon. Good luck with your stacked teacup project.